Okay, this is the big hole. Well, that's what he said. But I'm going to tell you what's going on here. Ooh, look, there's a water truck. So a crane is putting these... Putting this equipment down. Well, no, there's their way out. Sometimes a crane has to put this equipment in there. Well, that's probably too heavy. But here's what's going on. This is the Las Vegas Convention Center right in front of us. They sold this property, 10 acres, to a developer. He, he uh, let the contract fall through and he lost $7 million. You know what he said? $7 million is better than losing $100 million. In other words, he didn't feel like the north end was worth it. It's not going to work. So now a new buyer, supposedly two buyers. I'm suspicious of two buyers. I think it's the same buyer that split it in two different LLCs. You know, LLCs are just to scam they absolutely do nothing more than scam and protect the investor. Because the weird thing about it is this is the five acre parcel and this is the cheaper parcel. It only cost that company, which I, I think is the same damn company as the backside, cost them $10 million. And then the one closer to the... Uh, Las Vegas Convention Center cost over a hundred million dollars and the one closer to the uh, convention center is the same developer that developed Fountain Blue now it won't be called the Fountain Blue it's going to be a 600 foot tower back there behind this this is also going to be a 600 foot tower just to get right to the point, no casino. There's not going to be a casino here. Both of the towers, 600, 600 foot towers. That guy's got to turn that motorcycle down. I'm trying to do business here. So the 600 foot tower is going to be as tall as the Fountain Blue. Now, the reason the one in the back is related to the Fountain Blue just happens to be the same developer. I don't think he's going to use any branding Fountain Blue. It's a uh, it's going to be a multi-use um, apartments, condos, and short term. So it's going to cover all the bases. The reason he's not going to use the Fountain Blue name is he's got to pay a branding fee for the Fountain Blue name. He's not going to do that. He ain't stupid. And then this one in the front is going to be shops, uh, some kind of uh, retail, you know, probably luxury. Of course, it's going to be luxury. They're not going to put. They're not going to put a uh, shop in here that sells. I saw your mom on. Only fans. Although that's a great t-shirt, by the way. Yeah, they're going to put really luxury shops. And then they're going to have... They're also going to have... Uh, condos. Apartments. And short term. Really vague on it. And trust me, the names will change when this gets built just like it did over here when the fountain blue was being built it's so convoluted it's ridiculous llc names you can't you can't find out who the hell is really owning it who's buying it who's the management company who's the leasing company it's all just bullshit but for the common person all we need to know is there's going to be two... Now shut up over there, all right? I'm trying to do some of my work. Uh, two 600-foot towers. No gambling, which is a waste of space in my opinion.
need a can uh, uh, casino right here. We don't have enough. We need more casinos. So this is what we were here, and this is how rude this uh, walk thing is. Look, listen to this. You see that? See, it sounds like it says what? That's been broken for over a year. 